after speaking with the Ostian spy Layla, Ellie would realize that he must travel to Valor, the Dread Isle. The small island, located south of Icea, is said to be home to the Dragon's Gate. Heading for the southern coast of Kaelin, they set Heek Passage in the port of Badon. Why does this feel like it reminds me of something terrible? Like, something really terrible? But, anyway, it's time for Chapter 16X, The Port of Badon! The objective for this is gonna be kinda of bold, let me tell ya. Listen, we need a boat to Valor! You want a boat to the Dread Isle? You're mad! No way! Never! There's no one in this village who will sail there! Please, we're in a hurry. Can you give us passage? If you won't help us, can you take us to someone who will? Please. You must be on urgent business, that's certain. There may be one way. What is it? Tell us, please! Pirates! Eh? Pirates? Uh-huh! They're fearless or as close as makes no difference. And they'll go anywhere for a fee. Who knows? They might decide to accept your mad offer! Pirates. Looks like we've no choice. Are you serious, Hector? Working with pirates? That's unbelievable! Just a moment. Alright, sorry about that. But anyway... <clears throat> You're considering it, aren't you, Hollywood? If there's no other way, what else can we do? You too, Hollywood? I've misjudged you. It's foolishness to trust the goodwill of pirates. I'm finding another way. Why is she so angry? I hear that Ly Lindis' parents were slain by bandits. Bandits at land, pirates at sea. They're all the same to Lindis. Lawbreakers and murderers. I see. My parents died of illness, but I can appreciate her feelings. Shall we abandon the pirate plan? But... Too bad about the girl, but there's no other way. Let's meet the pirates. We can't decide until then. That's true. That inn over there is a known favorite of one of the local freebooters. They're reckless and unpredictable. Best be prepared. Hey, what's that one thing on there? Oh, we got our squad down here. Oh, boy. What do you want, Wilps? You're here to see me, aren't you? You're commander of the pirate armada, aren't you? Gwa ha ha! Commander of the pirate armada! I like the sound of that! Are you that, that naive, or are you just dumb? Which is it? You insolent. Peace, Hector. If I've insulted you, I apologize. How shall I address you? Huh, you don't frighten easily, do ye? Well, at least it seems you're not stupid. Captain will do, Wilp. I'm Fargus, the captain of the Davros. Fargus? Master Fargus? Or shall I, should I call you Captain? You're not one of my mates. Call me Fergus. Now, what do ye want? We want to book passage to Valor. How much will you pay? We don't know what, don't know the current rates. Tell us how much you want. One hundred thousand gold. Wait, one hundred thousand gold? Well, will ye pay? We've no choice, but we need a little time. We'll get the gold in return as quickly as possible. Come, Hector. W wait a moment, Elwood! Elwood, hold on! Where do you think you're going to get the hundred thousand gold? I'm sure there's an arena here. We can raise gold somehow. What? You're not serious! We've no other way, do we? Well, no. Sometimes you surprise me, Elwood. Did you say something, Hector? No, nothing. Let's go earn some gold. Ahoy! Hold your ground, boys! What now? We don't have the money yet. Fool! Of course you don't! I know that! The captain's got a message for you! A message? All of my mates in this village are going to- What?! If you can beat us all and get to the ship unharmed, he'll give you passage! For free? No gold? The captain's a tad off kilter! He'd rather have a bit of fun with you than take your gold! Smooth sailing to you! Oh, crap. Hey, landlubbers! Over here! I'm over here! 
Oh, for this is a joke, isn't it? Look serious enough. Here we go. Listen, the captain's waiting at the docks. Talk to him, and you're the winner. Trust me, though. Don't make the mistake of attacking him. You will anger the captain, and there's no turning back. Don't forget. Oh, for the love of frick. Oh, hey there, Lynn. I couldn't find the ship after all. But we have to get to the island. Looks like I have to endure pirates. Hmm? What was that? Commotion in the village? Oh, 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 wait. Nice timing. We need your help. You're battling the pirates. Fighting, and... Look, we have to reach the docks and speak to the captain. This is a test to see whether or not he'll give us passage. I don't understand, but I'm here, so let me help. So, here's the thing. The goal of this chapter is to just reach the boss. Do not attack the boss. If you attack him, you actually fail. Which is really dumb. He has to kill our axe. And he's level 18, so there's no way in hell we would even be able to touch him. So, hey, who are you? Start. Okay. Whoa, what? Level 12? Level 14? Jesus, these enemies are pretty strong. And there's level 8 archer. Oh, there are more guys up here. Okay, they're not nearly as high level. That's a vendor. Alright. So, how many units am I allowed to use this time around? Oh, god, not that many, actually. Okay, so... First off, let's get her squad set up. I definitely want to use Rebecca to get her levels. I pretty much need to use Hector. Uh, Sarah's there for healing. Osman's there. Let's take out Matthew for win. Sane's pretty high-leveled, but I want to get experiences on my other units, so... Let's do some training first. Because I do have a couple of items I can use to reclass units. First, let's... No. We're gonna... No, I want to give you the door key. So that way that's out of the way. Alright. Seraph is fine. You. I just want to check real quick. I know the night crest is for you. Wait, knights and cavaliers. Oh, what's the other thing though? Okay, mercenaries and fighters. So that's basically just for Dorcas. So what we're gonna do instead is store both of these for now and the silver sword. We're gonna give the silver sword to Elliewood. Considering... Well, actually, no, I have a steel sword now. But, get rid of that mine first. And then... Uh, give me a moment. I feel like the volume is ultra... Yeah, it was on like 40. For me. Let's get... Running low on javelins. Do I have a steel... I do. We'll give that to you. And then, I'm pretty sure I have a steel bow for Rebecca. Yes, I do. No, I want the steel bow. Okay, thanks. And we have the ability to finally buy men's staves in this chapter, so I'm probably gonna snag me that. I feel like we should be good. These enemy units are pretty high-leveled, but let's see how we can do this. What's the point, Merlin? This just so we can get that experience. Okay, they're gonna come for. We're gonna move up a bit. Well, actually, help these villages. Pardon me. I was speaking with an old sailor a few moments ago. He told me you're planning to travel to Valor. Is that so? Really. And that's why you're playing tag with these pirates? I see. In that case, would you mind if I joined you? My name is Canis. I'm a scholar of sorts. I've been seeking passage to Valor, but none will take me. My proposal probably sounds somewhat selfish, no? You should know. I can help in combat. 
I some skill with a form of elder magic. Some call it dark magic, a rather biased term if I must be blunt. But at the very least, I can take care of myself and perhaps others. Ooh, we got a new a new unit! Hey, he's a shaman! What level are you? Ooh, not even bad. Ain't got a secret book and a flux tome. Alright, so we got a shaman in the squad now. Not even bad. I want to hit the rest of these villagers, too. Like this one over here, and this one over here. What's... I'm curious about your movement. They can't reach me, so I can literally send Rebecca over to this village. Wait, uh, you. Can you reach me? Just barely. Alright, so let's send Rebecca over to this village. This path leads to danger. The pirates are waiting for you. Do you not think it would be better to find another route? You've risked too much to come. Much to come here. I can't leave you empty-handed. Take this axe. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? However, it's cursed. It's a mighty weapon, but if one with bad luck wields it... Ooh, terrible, terrible, I tell you. Don't use it unless you have to. A devil axe? The fuck's a devil axe? Might injure its wielder. What? That's pretty wild. Alright, let's move up a bit, though. Let's have Lin go over here like that. We're gonna try and do something like this. Wait, can I go in here? I can. I heard about your contest with the Pirate Captain Fargus. You got nerve, I'll give you that. Let me give you some advice. Don't try to overpower the pirates. Take the narrow path next to us and follow the wall towards the sea. Pass in front of the last house and stay close to the sea wall. You should be able to get to Fargus and win your game. Why do I know all this? Well, my sweetie is a pirate. His name is Jake and he's the best. We see him, tell him Anna's Anna? That's like a good call. Oh my god, they're up here too. Wait, these guys know when you're strong, so... Alright, so we don't want to try and overpower them, because those guys will literally rip us to pieces. I could always send Marcus like this, but, you know what? We'll use that. Alright. Good! You're dead! This might be another short chapter. Oh shit, you have a throwable weapon. Fuck! We have our own Flux Tome now. Damn, that does a lot! Alright. Wallen, you're gonna have this village too. You're being tested by pirates with passage to the Dread Isle hanging in the balance? Here, use this bow! It's a rare beauty, eh? Us S fun gave it to me, but I can't use it! Don't get yourself killed out there, okay? What did I get? A short bow? Um, oh fuck. What moon calls? I wouldn't let him sit there then come any closer. Up and out of mates! Attacked! Oh crap! I think I just fucked this up hard. What does this do? Improves crit rate. Okay, we need to move now. You kill him. I think I'm about to get overwhelmed. I may have just misplayed hard. Alright. Marcus? You keep going. This might actually be a short chapter. Because all I need to do is slide around them. Well, actually, no. Don't do that like that. We want to do something like this. Get some more experience for Sarah. So we got a new unit, though. I mean, it kind of makes up for the fact we didn't get Urk back in, like, a few chapters back. Oswin, your movement still sucks. Let's rescue Lin, you, and Lin can go up a bit. Wowen, however, I think he's literally fucked. Wait, what? What an interesting diversion! Maybe we should join in! Lord Elliward of Fairy, you don't yet know to fear the Black Fang! Start grieving, for I will teach you that fear. Are you kidding me? Oh crap, yeah, they're really coming after me. You don't let look! Wait, do you actually kill him? Oh! We need to get him out of there. Unfortunately, we don't have access to rescue stabs. I don't even know if rescue stabs, stabs are even in this game, because if they were, that would make my life so much easier. Okay, good. Okay, bad. Okay, very bad. Very bad. Very bad. 
Oh, fuck. I'm literally surrounded. But it's like, this dude over here, he's a paladin with a killing edge. How the hell do I deal with that? Why is he even here? Wait, there's a healer? They have a healer. That's a new one. Okay. Well, let's just keep on trucking. Lowen, you are literally fucked. Wait, do you have the movement to reach back? It's times like this, having nils would be like fucking amazing. But unfortunately, we don't have that luxury. I mean, we could get lucky. We could get lucky. You don't have a vulnerable either. Oh boy. You don't have the range to reach me though. Okay, good. So, let's just put Marcus in this guy's range. Oh! Uh, okay, good. Okay, that's a lot! That's a lot of experience, though. Please. Please don't come after me again. Okay, you are no threat. So it's like, do I have to talk to him in any one of my units, or just specifically? The oh, it's a good thing you're on a horse! And not fucking Oswin! Speaking of Oswin, oh my god, Lowen. Bro, getting all this experience. He's level 11 now. We're kind of catching up to him in terms of levels. But, you know, we still have bigger problems called the Mage in the Dark. Oh, shit! I was literally about to say, he's gonna die, like, right now. Because he had an L fire. And you know, L fire is in this game! Oh, no, you're fucked. 15. I mean. I mean, hello here. Yes! Please, please. Oh my! Rowan is putting in nothing but the finest of work! Bro, I might actually be able to kill them all. I mean, Rowan's health right now is a little concerning, but, you know, he's still alive. And now we can literally hit up these last two villagers and. And that vendor, so I can get a fucking men's staff for Sarah. That would be amazing if I can get that. You know, I have a better idea. Do you have a... Uh... Oh, boy. Actually, no, this is a bad idea. Those two are actually really threatening. And if Oswin's movement didn't suck, then... Oh, boy. Alright, Sarah, you move up. And then Dorcas, you move up. And then you have tons of movement so you can literally get to safety. Oh, they're literally coming after me. It's a good thing Marcus's movement is just fucking amazing. Are you interested in this sword here? It's called the Lance Reaver. It's an incredible sword to take against lances. Still, it is a little weak against the axis. Go ahead, take it. You're going to the Dread Isle, right? If you want to avoid the pirates, go behind the shop. From there, just head straight down the alley. Good luck to you. Well, I mean, I'm literally like two turns away to get into this, man. I had like next to nothing to worry about except the guys chasing after me. Actually, that would be a big problem if my weaker units get caught up in encounters with these guys, especially because they have weapons that would really wreck Rip my squad apart. Speaking of which, please don't tell me you have the range to reach. Oh, okay, good, you don't. Because Oswin's poor movement is literally like the very thing that's screwing me now. Alright. Oh shit, he's going after Merlinus! Oh. Uh, here we go. Let's see. I need to get rid of this guy. Please hit. Fuck. You know? I could try something that's literally suicide. I mean... He has 20%. Huh? He can't hit me, actually. Never mind. 
I'll, I'll say, he has a 20% hit rate. No, he has 20% crit rate. He can't hit me, though. Know? And then... I could have... I would love Hector to get that kill, but, you know, let's see if Dorcas can get it. God damn it! <laughs> well, blowing! Congratulations, you're getting another free kill. Bye. Moen is literally just MVP this chapter. He just took on all those pirates and survived. And he's already level 12. Of course, I'm gonna wait till like level 20 to reclass units, but... It's always a good idea to have extra levels. Alright. We're in a good spot here. I want to hit up this vendor first. Let's hit up the vendor first. Because these black fang guys are probably going to come after me. That does it! I'm leaving before all my finest goods get stolen! Well, f fuck me sideways. Alright. Vendor! Ooh, we could buy various tomes. But, I'm... Wait, actually. Because Merlin has kind of died, let's sell the red gem first. So let's buy this men's staff. Because I don't think I need a lightning tome. Alright. Those black fang guys are probably going to start coming after me now. Along with the archer. Speaking of which... Let's get everyone moving. Almost no one got any action this chapter, because we're already almost done. Well, actually, I can always heal low in with Sarah, so... Let's do that, and meanwhile, have Hector slide over here. Oh no, he's coming back! He's coming again! Alright, Ellie would move over here, because- Wait, there's another guy. Oh, it's just you. Oh shit, what have I done? What have I done? I've made a huge mistake. Wait, let me check real quick. Okay, I can talk to him with anybody, and then we win. What's up this last village, though? You're such a brave soul to come to a peril such a perilous place. Here, you should have this staff. You can use it to make those whose magic resistances are weaker than your own fall asleep for a while. What well, it works or not depends on the skill of the wielder. Okay, well, maybe the staff will help you get away. A sleep staff? Uh... I've never heard of such a thing in my life. But I, mean, I can always have Hector buy the men's staff, because, you know, Merlin is kind of... Never mind, he can't buy the men's staff. You can, though, because you have plenty of room for stuff. Why don't you come over here so we can heal you up? And then... Wow, your heals are all really almost gone. It's a good thing we're buying a men's staff! I mean, Lowen kind of deserves that heal. Oh my god, a heal broke! I mean, what? Meanwhile, we still have this dude's coming now. Well, actually, wait. I have a better idea. He can't hurt me if I get in his face. Alright, perfect. Well, it depends. Do I have the movement to reach him? Yeah, I do. You're dead. Bye. And this is why you remember. That's great. And this, kids, is why you remember that archers cannot hit you in the face with their bows. Because this is not Fire Rumble Fates, where Point Blank exists. But anyway, let's buy ourselves a men's step. Let's buy two, actually, because you never know. I'm pretty sure I have a room for two. And I don't think I need anything else. And let's talk to Fogus! Aha! You made it, Wilps! That was hard. You'll give us passage now, won't you? I'm a man of the sea! I always keep my word! Are my old eyes lying to me? Is this beauty really with you? Qua ha ha ha! My lucky day! Listen, I know how you feel, but you had to accept it. 
We've got we've no other choice. I know that. I haven't said a word, have I? We can go to the Dread Isle now. Please, Father, be well. That's it? That's the whole chapter? Wow, that's the whole chapter. I am... I barely even got to say anything productive! Really? Well, I guess that's it! That was chapter 16x, folks. So next time in Fire Emblem, we'll be taking on chapter 17. And hopefully making our way to the Dread Isle. And probably fighting some Black Fang guys. Because considering they're already showing up. Trying to get in our way. We're probably going to be seeing quite a bit of them. I will see you guys then.